it's the IRS determination letter on our retirement fund. Just by way of history, I had circulated a memo about oh, almost three weeks ago. In 2011, Lebanon County was part of about 54 counties that went together and Hay Group prepared and submitted for our retirement plan to the IRS an updated, um, for an updated favorable determination letter. Uh, the determination letter, a favorable determination letter, deems our plan is in compliance with all applicable IRS regulations and also guarantees the tax deferred <coughs> status of the plan. In the IRS's wisdom, it's a four year, it's actually good for four years. Um, and every five years the cycle comes up and the deadline for the current cycle which we're in is January 31st 2016 and the my understanding is the same conglomerate of I think 56 counties were in the last time um, we would go together Hay group would do the proper paperwork they would handle all the legal um, information needed with the IRS um, and that would give guarantee uh, hopefully once again a favorable uh, determination letter um, guaranteeing our tax deferred status without that letter we could lose the tax deferred status of contributions made by employees uh, money paid to employees and possibly IRS penalties now what the uh, what amendments they put on is the IRS regulates information um, amendments to the plan that may have no bearing to any plan in the county of Pennsylvania. Uh, a good example was the last time we did this when it was issued, when it was done in 2011, was there was an anti-copyright law that was added to all the pension plans. We have no idea why, but the IRS said it has to be there. It was actually 16 pages of required language. Um, so Hay Group is proposing to do the same thing again. Uh, they would prepare the documents, respond to the IRS questions, do any negotiations, and prepare any amendments to the plan. Um, they're proposing $2,000 to do this, um, which is paid from the retirement fund. So moved. And, and the other piece is there's currently a $2,500 fee to the IRS. We have to pay that from the general fund. Uh, that fee has not been guaranteed. At this point, it's $2,500. Um, last time, they wanted, what, I think 10000 or something, and it got lowered to, like, 2000 So I don't know what that number will be at the end. That's in the IRS's ultimate wisdom. Um, and the other piece to this is the IRS is planning to terminate this program in 2017, which means after they, if they give us this four-year window, it would expire in 2018 for this letter. After that, it would be the county, Lebanon County and all counties' responsibility to make sure we're in compliance with all the amendments. So, Self-policing. Yes, they are policing. And this pretty well guarantees that by doing this, it guarantees that if we've missed any amendments in the past, once they give us that, we're not liable for any prior penalties. So basically the retirement board has to approve uh, entering into this um, agreement with Hay Group and representing the 50 some plus counties. Yeah. They, would, they would do ours individually, I would be coordinating with our information, but all 50 some counties would be submitted at the same time. Commissioner Phillips, did you move the motion? I did. Or so Would you I like to second? Oh, yeah. Wonder why these retirement systems are broke. They certainly don't help the situation any. Every time we turn around, we have to pay a hey group two thousand dollars, twenty five hundred dollars, thirty five hundred dollars to do something that I'm sure is uh, not very burdensome. But, uh, um, and then they put uh, the, the IRS in their wisdom, of course, they put a fee on the county now of twenty five hundred dollars for this which they require us to do. It's a nice system. Yes. Sir. All right. With that said, all those in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> Opposed? Thank you. So moved. We so